Well, God tells us in His inerrant word that He directs the hearts of the leaders. And we're here today to pray for our new president. I hope and pray that he's successful. I hope and pray that God, as He stirs the heart of our new president, that, the, that President Obama will listen and will heed God's direction. And so I encourage everyone to do exactly what God tells us in His Word, is that's to pray for our leaders, to pray for our president, pray for the Speaker of the House, the majority leader in the U.S. Senate, and all of us who are up here trying to serve, serve the people and hopefully serve the Lord Jesus Christ and serve our God who mm -hmm. has created our country and, and through the principles He gives us in His inerrant Word. So it's important for us to pray for this place, Absolutely. but it's also important for us to pray for the people who are involved so that God, as He stirs our hearts, that we can hear very clearly and that we can heed God's directions and can follow those directions because that's what's going to make a nation successful. That's what's going to put this country back on the right course. Yes. It's about listening to the Lord, reading His Word, understanding what God expects of us and what He wants of us so that we can follow in obedience. So that's the whole question, is are we going to be obedient to the Lord? Is our president going to be obedient to the Lord? Are we going to heed the instructions that he gives us? Because I think very clearly he instructs, directs the heart of us who are, are here trying to serve the people of this country. So that's why it's important for us to be here to pray Absolutely. today. And Congressman, uh, two passages come to mind as you exhort us in that way. Of course, Proverbs chapter 21, the king's heart is in the hand of the Lord. Amen. As the rivers of water, he turneth it whithersoever he will. Right. That's God's business. And right. He can and does turn the hearts of leaders. And of course, the other passage you alluded to is in 1 Timothy chapter 2. Paul says, I exhort therefore that first of all, supplications, prayers, intercessions, and giving of thanks be made for all men, for kings, and for all that are in authority, that we may lead a quiet and peaceable life in all godliness and honesty. And I like what comes after that. For this is good and acceptable in the sight of God our Savior, Amen. Mm -hmm. who will have all men to be saved and to come unto the knowledge of the truth, for there is one God and one mediator between God and man, the man Christ Jesus. Amen. It's all part of the package. Absolutely. What we'd like to do, this will be the walkway that the president-elect will take That's on his right. way to the inaugural platform with his family, of course, and the vice president-elect. And once outside here, if we can just get a little view of that, if the camera, you'll see the little riser with the rail. That's where the president-elect will stand, raise his right hand, swear the oath of office with the Chief Justice of the United States and become the next President of the United States. That's correct. So this is sort of a symbolic passageway, if you will. This arch is a symbolic passageway. Right. So we'd like to do what the Scripture uh, exhorts, and that is to anoint, to set apart this passageway. And we had some anointing oil from the Holy Land. And this was actually formulated in Jerusalem. Oh, wow. And we'll anoint this in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. and consecrate it as they did the furnishings of the tabernacle and the temple to the use of God and to his will and to his word. Amen. Amen. Do you want, um, for the past week and the first 19 days of this year, we've had 19 days of prayer and fasting for President-elect Obama. And every day I've been leading prayer outside of the White House and people have been joining us across the country. We are praying the inaugural prayer that Dr. Billy Graham prayed 40 years ago. And Peggy, I'd like to pray that right now as we consecrate this just feet away from where President Obama will become the 44th President of the United States. Let's pray. Our Father and our God, thou has blessed our nation yes, and Lord. said, blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord. Thank you, Lord. We recognize that we are a Praise nation you, under God. Yes, Lord. We thank yes. thee for this torch of faith handed yes, to us by our forefathers. May we never let it be extinguished. Yes, Lord. Thou alone has given us our prosperity, yes, our freedom, our power. Yes, this faith in God is our heritage and foundation. Thou hast warned us in the scriptures, if the foundations be destroyed, what can the righteous do? As George 
George Washington reminded us in his farewell address, morality and faith are the pillars of our society. The whole world is watching to see if the faith of our fathers will stand the trials and tests of this hour. Too long we have neglected thy word and ignored yes. thy laws. Yes. Too long we have tried to solve our problems without reference to thee. Yes, Lord. Too long we have tried to live by bread alone. Yes, Lord. We have sown grace. to the wind and we are now weeping a whirlwind of crime, division, and rebellion. Yes. And now with the wages of sin staring us in the face, we remember thy words. If my people, yes. who are called by my name, yes. shall humble themselves and pray, oh. and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, yes. then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and heal their land. Yes. Help us this day to turn from our sins and yes. to turn by simple faith to the one who said, you must be born again. Yes. So we pray, O oh God, as we enter a new era, that we as a nation may experience a moral and spiritual restoration. Yes, Thou hast said, promotion comes not from the east nor from the west, but from thee. Yes. We acknowledge thy divine help in the selection of our leadership every four years. We recognize, O oh Lord, that in thy sovereignty thou hast permitted Barack Obama yes. to lead us at this yes. momentous hour of our history. Yes. We beseech thee that he will have thy divine guidance and power daily. Yes. Help him as thou did help thy servants of old. Yes. Our Father, we know his burdens and responsibility will be overwhelming. Dear Lord. Yes. He will hold in his hands the destiny of more people than any man in history. Yes. O oh God, our new president needs thee as no man ever needed thee in yes. leading the people. Yes. There will be times when he will be overwhelmed by the problems at home and abroad yes. that have been building to the breaking point for years. Have mercy. Protect him from physical danger. Yes. And in the lonely moments of decision, grant him an uncompromising courage to do yes. what is morally right. Yes, O oh God, we consecrate yes, Barack Obama to the presidency of the United States yes, with assurance from this hour on, as yes. he and his family move into the White House, they will have yes, the presence and power of thy son who said, yes, I will never leave thee or forsake thee. Mm -hmm. We pray this humbly in the name of the Prince of Peace who shed his blood on the cross that all men might have eternal life. Amen. 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 We've heard an exhortation from the congressman. We've anointed and consecrated this passageway so symbolic when the president-elect passes through here to become the next president of the United States. We've heard this beautiful prayer by Billy Graham, truly one of the spiritual fathers of America. And now we'll pray for the president himself before we dismiss. Lord, we take before you Barack yes, Obama, his wife Michelle, and their two precious daughters, yes, as we pray for them, Lord, yes, Lord that you would turn their hearts and minds completely to you, yes, tune their ears yes, to Jesus. hear your voice yes, as you speak your will into their lives. And in the end, in the moment of testing, Lord, may they find themselves in a place of humility and obedience to your voice, yes, your Lord. will, and your word above all the prevailing winds of the political atmosphere here in Washington. Let your will be done as you taught us to pray. Thy will be done yes, Lord. on earth as it is in heaven. As it is in, heaven. Amen. in Jesus' name, amen. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And God, God bless you. your work and your ministry here. Well, thank you. Well, it is a ministry. It is. It is yes. Ministry. We just need to serve the Lord Jesus Christ. And Absolutely. Everything that we say, everything that we do, and all that we are. All of us do. Absolutely. Well, may the Lord multiply your kind. Well, thank you. And I claim that in the name of Jesus. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Let it be so. Thank you. I think it's so powerful that we are willing to walk away with Jesus.